Well, hey there, idiots. Welcome back to Absurd. In today's video, we're going to be analyzing the nonverbal communication of a beauty influencer over on TikTok named Michaela Nguera. More on that in just a second. Let's go ahead and roll the intro first. Now, for those of you who are not aware of the situation or perhaps even of who Michaela is, Michaela Nguera is a beauty influencer over on TikTok. She is known for her, her applicable short videos for doing makeup styles and also reviews. Now, speaking of said reviews, she did a review on a L'Oreal lash mascara and she did so fraudulently. She, she, you know what? Actually, I think why don't we just go ahead and watch this? We're gonna we're gonna watch it and break it down and and talk about some of the nonverbal communication that she displays, especially throughout her deceit. And then along with that, we'll also talk about some of the nonverbal communication of various other influencers around to see if anybody else was perhaps in the know of things or if there is genuine hostility and anger centered around this. Let's just go ahead and dive into the the tea, so to speak. Difference in my lashes with this mascara is absolutely incredible. It truly did a phenomenal job. I mean, literally, just look at the difference. So I just lied straight to your face, and you probably believed it. These lashes, totally fake. And that's what brands do. They lie to you about how things work. Would you have known these were false lashes? Maybe not. Literally gonna take the piece and just lay it right on your lashes and press it down. Put about five pieces. Then go ahead and apply one final coat of mascara. How would they know? How would they know? I, I, I don't know. I wanted to go ahead and include that video because of the fact of what it's what she's calling out in that video. So she's talking about how could you possibly know if somebody fakes eyelashes like this? It's so difficult to tell. It's saying, you know, brands will lie to you. Now let's go ahead and fast forward to this most recent video. So similar vibes. Let's let's see what's happening here. Um, yeah. You li this literally just changed my life. This looks like false li This is how? What? <laughs> it's this L'Oreal telescope. So I'm I'm having a little bit of difficulty already just centered around the nonverbal communication, but it's one that I have with many people that create videos in general, and that's the the this the forced faked excitement or joy or thrill or happiness that comes out, especially in regards to product reviews. And so we're seeing that come across her face specifically largely in the lack of motion from the upper half of her face as opposed to the lower half of her face and how desynchronized it is from the actual uh, verbal expressions that she's making here. So all of this desynchronization just lets you know that in general, she's not as overwhelmed or excited or happy about this product as she's trying to present it to be already, but that's not unheard of, especially when it comes to doing product reads for various companies. A lot of creators will have difficulty actually invoking the excitement that the company wants you to have, largely because it's forced and faked for a video. But let's go ahead and keep watching on this to see just just how her nonverbal communication contrasts with everything. Well, telescopic lift. Look at the wand. Okay, so basically I'm taking the curved side and I'm going root to tip and I'm sat in a coat the lashes. And then once you've done that, you flip the brush to the side and you use the hook comb to basically separate. This is one coat. Okay, I'm gonna add a second with the length. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause here because she does one coat and it's it's done. Like it, it seems to be a fairly uh, decent mascara, but now she does this cut. And we're gonna to go ahead and talk a little bit about what we're seeing between the two cuts. I went ahead and crashed and zoomed in here so we could see. So th this is after the cut. This is a second coat. And I'll pop up a picture so we can see the difference between the two here. But the length, do you see that? I am speechless and I'm not sure anyone's gonna ever be able to compete with this mascara. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause that there. Okay, so <laughs> here's the picture of the before and after the two coats. Now this has nothing to do with nonverbal communication. This just has to do with basic, I think, reality. Um, so we're seeing coat one. We, we have only so many lashes available in coat one. And then we're starting to see coat two here. And there are so many more physical hairs, lashes, which I just find obscene that there is a mascara that can grow hair, specifically eyelashes like that. 
And so we're seeing this definite, definite difference between the two. And it's, it's just, it's clearly obvious that something has been changed in this cut here. And it's well beyond a second coat. Now we're going to go ahead and start watching some of these other people react to it, talk about some of the circumstances around it, and then we'll wrap up at the end. Why can we not be honest on this app? Why is it so hard? It's really not that hard. And this really upsets me because I really used to trust her recommendations. I'm going to go ahead and pause that one. So this is one one person just reviewing the the horrible fake review. And so what we're seeing across her nonverbal communication during that, we're seeing a lot of activity in the corner of her nose. That would be the disgust. We're seeing a lot of very, very overt head shaking, that disagreement. That is another negative uh, emotion in regards to this. And then along with that, we're seeing a substantial amount of activity up in the glabella and forehead region of her face as well. This is all synchronized. And the movements that are being done while she's speaking is also synchronized. This is genuine frustration, disgust, and anger. In regards to this specific instance, that does make sense. And the context around it of wanting to be able to trust your influencers to give honest reviews of products, it does make sense to have that anger, especially when there's something so overtly deceitful about the ad. Let's continue. I am so shocked right now. And I, I feel like I'm going to regret posting this because I love my peers. I love the beauty community and I stay out of drama. I don't want, I don't want to talk to anybody like at all. Um, but I was just stretching after my workout and I was on TikTok. I'm going to go ahead and pause here because her tone is a lot more soft. It's a lot more gentle. So she says, I am so surprised right now. And that is obviously speaking on some just emotional form. Now, non-verbally speaking, we're seeing a lot of very slow blinks. And those slow blinks like that can be an indicator of frustration and agitation, which makes sense in this. We're also seeing a substantial amount of facial manipulators there. And this is not a prepped staged video either. This is just seems to be filmed in the gym that she's working out in. So we're seeing genuine frustration already coming out and some self-soothing manipulators coming out as well. Let's keep watching. Talk and I saw like a big influencer who like I respect and like she's awesome and I and I and I like her TikToks a lot. Go ahead and pause here. A lot of no shaking throughout that who I respect and I like her and all of these positive things while the no shake is happening in there. There is the possibility that that's a point of desynchronization. She could, in fact, not necessarily have so much respect and appreciation for this person's creations now as opposed to before. But there's also the distinct possibility that she might be referring or might be displaying that you wouldn't believe. You would not believe that I was a I am a fan of I appreciate Perhaps it's something around the competition thing. However, we're seeing that desynchronization between the verb, the verbal and the nonverbal. Let's keep watching. But I just saw a sponsored post. Um, I'm like, I'm like shaking because I'm so shocked. I'm like shaking because I'm so shocked. I saw her do a sponsored post, which that doesn't matter because uh, whatever, sponsorships are awesome. I do them all the time. Um, but it was about a mess. Okay, a little bit of insecurity around this area here. So first we're seeing this substantial manipulator come out here and it's right over the supersternal notch here, which is a defensive manipulator. A lot of vulnerability is all along in here and you can see that come out. People will oftentimes fiddle even with their clothes or if you have a necklace that will come out as well, but it's all centered around the supersternal notch right there. So we're seeing that come out, that defensiveness come out and then we're talking about the sponsored deals the sponsored brand deals and she starts getting a little defensive in there where she starts throwing in some some shrugs in there and some manipulators and a very substantial manipulator across here the self-hugging self-soothing gesture not only blocks off the person's front but then also allows you to be able to massage up here as well so we're seeing these all kind of crop up and it's it's all a level of defensiveness around sponsored deal or sponsored brand deals which fair that's a, a pretty hot ticket item of conversation really online between creators and people who watch the creators and the the juggle between trying to figure out how to make everything a job as opposed to blah 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 so that does make sense as she's trying to kind of semi justify that and might feel like she's uh a little bit insecure in that area makes sense non-verbally let's watch um but it was about a mascara and when she shows like the finished product of the second coat she's like wearing Ardell Demi Wispies or something like there's falsies there like it's very clear it's very very clear but she's saying that they're not falsies it's just the mascara 
So we're seeing a number of facial manipulators that she's displaying as well, especially with the rubbing of the nose and substantial touching of the face on all different areas. And that is all a sign of agitation. Makes sense. It is synchronized with the emotion that's being displayed. Let's continue watching. I'm just like, damn, damn. That really sucks. Like for the rest of us who are so honest, <laughs> that really sucks. Kind of disappointed me. But. Gonna go ahead and pause there. That's an interesting part there where, I, where we are so honest. All these other people that are so honest She's breaking eye contact pretty substantially down off to the side. Also has a substantial head shake in there, a little bit of a laugh and a head dip as well. And then all of that actually pushes me to really question that specific line who are so honest. I'm, it's just fascinating to me that that spike occurred there. So perhaps there is a level of dishonesty that's still within ad reads, but not to this overt level, something like that, perhaps so it's just reflecting non-verbally. Uh, let's continue watching. Disappointed me, but what can you do? Okay, no hate to the person that did the video that you guys just saw, but why are you guys hating on somebody for lying? Granted, maybe she's lying, maybe she's not. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pause here. So now we're on to a new creator here, and it sounds as if it's the different side of things. And some things that I want to note non-verbally is, again, this pretty substantial self-hugging gesture here, along with the light massaging that can happen back here, and this is in front as well. Now, this is a pretty dis defensive gesture. It's pretty tightly closed off, and this could be because she realizes that she's delivering what would be considered a, a hot take, even though it's a pretty pretty not okay one, but still. So we're seeing this defensive non-verbal communication come out here. Let's continue to see what happens. Maybe she's not. So what? So you're telling me if I use a product, makeup product, skincare product, let's just say a skincare product, and it makes my face super clear, like actually, but you use it and it all of a sudden breaks your face out. Are you going to call me a liar and say that I promoted the brand and it's actually ass? I'm going to go ahead and pause here. This is a fascinating picture that she's painting here because it does not match the situation of the lash gate that we're dealing with trying to say that oh well this product does work well for me but it might not work for anybody else is not the same as this mascara can grow extra eyelashes for you on your eyelids and it will make them really long and borderline look like they're just fake largely because they might be so it's not really a comparison and so i don't i don't really get what her point was on this i think that she was trying to make some sort of stand here but it, it did not it did not pull through let's continue watching ass no i mean you probably will if you guys are all hating on that one thing but i'm gonna go ahead and pause again here no and now we're starting to see some discomfort come out you can see the agitation coming out in the massaging of this and then also a little bit of head shaking in there and then we could see her pull in and draw in even more so and this is a, a level of defensiveness that has increased from even the prior time so being able to see that come out uh, perhaps she realized the the example that i just provided is not at all applicable to the situation maybe maybe that was the case let's keep watching okay and also even if she did put false eyelashes on why does that matter i know it's false advertising but isn't everything false advertising isn't everything technically kind of lying just a little bit you know food commercials aren't actually she's really feeling the how much of a point that she's making here and she's really not uh, trying to also again use the excuse of oh well everybody else is doing more or less that so i can also do that is a, a surefire way to get into some not so great situations along with that what we're seeing is the emotional attitude that she's displaying and that's done through the forced contempt disgust and outrage that she's shown with the drawing together of the eyebrows widening up the eyes and the corner of the nose becoming more active along with the contempt coming in with a partial smile on one side the lopsidedness of that so we're seeing that she has a level of scorn disgust and contempt for people that look at uh influencers who lie in in their product reviews as as uh, wrong uh and that that just pushes me to be suspicious of literally anything she says if she's pretty okay with people just being deceitful because everybody does it then that 
really puts into question anything she says, which is fascinating. Let's continue. Aren't actual like all food products, right? Like they mix certain things to make certain things look better. Isn't that false advertising? I'm just confused. I know you've seen the videos of like how commercials actually make their hot chocolate look good. That type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You guys like to pick and choose who we're going to pick on today. It doesn't make that much sense to me. I'm going to go ahead and pause here. This claiming a lot of this false ignorance. Obviously, she knows exactly what's going on here. And in this sort of circumstance, this would be similar to one of those circumstances. There's a, a saying that goes, if you ask a person for um, for the, the consequences of another criminal or person's bad behavior, if you ask that person, what should their consequences be if they make a bunch of excuses, this person who should not be uh, really related to it, if they make a bunch of excuses for the bad behavior, there's the possibility that similar behavior is actually being done or their accomplices in. So hearing them really try to hammer home, like, oh, everybody does it, everything's fine, I don't understand what the problem is with this, is really, again, just steering us to believe that this person here, too, is just happy and willing to lie about whatever it is that they want to in order to make the money that they want to, and they're confused as to why consumers are upset by that because that's what the products the brands do so why not also the influencers and that's then showing that she has no understanding as to the differences in relationships between consumers and brands as opposed to consumers and, and influencers and how there's supposed to be a level of authenticity from the influencers that you wouldn't simply expect from the corporate hungry brands fascinating that she's really trying to take that soapbox she's just kind of painting herself out to be a not so great person. Let's keep watching. Don't get me wrong, lying sucks, but everyone does it, especially when it comes to social media and especially when it comes to making money. Sorry, if somebody put $200,000 in your face and said, hey, promote my shitty mascara, I don't think you'd think twice about it. I'm gonna go ahead and pause that there. Sorry, lying sucks. But everybody does it, and that summarizes her side of things, which I find pretty despicable. Uh, everybody does lie. That does not make it to where you should always lie, especially in areas where people are wanting you or needing you to be very authentic and genuine in like the areas of product reviews, things like that. Like It's just the terrible point of view. And then she uh, builds another unapplicable, not applicable, uh, the circumstance at the end, if somebody gave you $200,000 and said, hey, why don't you promote this mascara and it was a it was a bad mascara, you'd probably do it. And that maybe, maybe some people would do that. Maybe some people wouldn't. I'm sure a lot of people would. But then that's also not what really happened here. The mascara that we're talking about obviously functioned pretty well. So it wasn't like it was a garbage max mascara that we were talking about here. It was just needless false advertising from an influencer without any... Like, there just genuinely wasn't a need for it. Could have done a normal review, would have been fine. So, uh, let's continue watching. We've got a couple other people here. Stuff like this is why people do not trust influencers. And it's so upsetting. Like, little moments like this are why influencers as a whole get a bad rap. More specifically, beauty influencers who do product reviews, who do sponsorships. That's why people are always saying, oh, we can't trust them. So I'm going to go ahead and pause. So during that specific clip, it looked like it was fairly well lit. It may have been staged a little bit, doesn't detract from the message of that clip. And she brings up an excellent point about, yeah, that that's the relationship that that consumers now have with influencers is already on rocky ground because of this. The questioning are are the influencers being genuine. And with that, when it's so overt, it genuinely does hurt all of the rest of the influencers who even try to be as genuine as they can with their ad reads. So we're seeing synchronized nonverbal communication from them during that, even though the hand gestures are pretty forced and, and uh, controlled, we're still seeing synchronized across the verbal and the nonverbal. So as she's saying words, the motions of her nonverbal communication flow along with her words like that. So that synchronization just lends me to believe that she's being authentic in that. Regardless, let's now go ahead and watch James Charles review this as well. And then we'll talk about it at the very end. 
So this mascara has been causing quite a little bit of drama on social media today. <laughs> Let's try it out. So this is the new L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. And I did receive this in PR, but unlike a lot of the other videos going up right now, I was not paid to talk about this. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was a little bit skeptical about this mascara just because of some of the reviews that I have seen, but now I wish that I was getting paid for this review like everybody else, because <laughs> I think it's actually pretty good. It did a nice job of lifting up the lashes. They look nice and black. It's, you know, a good quality mascara that I would probably reach for again, and no, Ardell Wispy is necessary. Okay, and we'll go ahead and stop that there. Okay, so during James's review of it, to be able to paint the picture between the two, there's no excessive cuts that are in there that's hiding anything, and he's reviewing it quite cleanly and upfrontly. So that's what I think people were kind of wanting to have from Michaela, and obviously that didn't happen. And now James's nonverbal communication during that was also quite synchronized, even down to, you know, I'm not getting paid for this, but I kind of wish I was because, and he, he laughs and he dips down a little bit and this could be a level of insecurity. But then when he comes back up, he's shaking his head. No, cause it's actually a pretty good product. And that possible desynchronization could be the yes to no desynchronization, or it could be the you wouldn't believe, which does in fact fit in line and in context with everything else that's been happening because people have been questioning now this product because of all of the lying around it. So you might not believe, but I really genuinely enjoy it. So with that, we're seeing that from James Charles. It seems as though the mascara is a pretty solid mascara. It seems as though Michaela just is okay lying about it. She also tried to cover this up with comments and really dug their heels in to try to convince everybody that they weren't in fact displaying false advertising while in fact it was very clear that they were. So. Just a lot of stuff that we had to be able to to wade through there. Uh, a lot of creators involved on this. It's been a minute since I've been uh, dipping my toes into the proverbial uh, beauty drama scene. So we're back here for a little bit again. If you did like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any suggestions or requests for other videos, let me know in the comments below. If you see one that you do like that somebody else has already like posted, go ahead and hit a like on their comment and that will raise it up so I can see. Uh, yeah, and just stick around. There will be more content soon, especially hopefully some stuff that will be changing up uh, the style of content a little bit here to bring some more fresh stuff. Anyway, I think that covers everything. That's all that I've got for the day. My name is Logan and you have been oh so awesome as you always are. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.